obviously. You can't really get to this one anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> We began this explore by being approached by security without even entering the site. You'll not believe what they said. Yeah. Um, we were just like gonna have a look around in that and take some pictures and stuff. In there? Yeah. Right, right. You can't go on this side. This is all private property. Oh right, okay. We have got. We have, is it sort of online? This or something? Um, I don't know. I just heard about it from like some of my friends. We have loads of people coming on here with cameras going in there. Yeah, it's quite cool inside, it's like graffiti and stuff. It's, it's supposed to be haunted or something. Yeah. It's a mental asylum. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to get on it. Yeah. Do you, do you live around here? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you know St. Anne's Road, don't you? <coughs> kind of. Go through the passage, go up here. Yeah. Turn down that, you know where the path is down there, don't you? Um, no, I'm not, I'm not exactly from this side there. Right. This road that you're on here? Yeah. Not this first left, the second left. Yeah. Third left, following the, that, that fence that you can see and going down there. Uh -huh. You get to the bottom and there's a, like a mounds of grass with a path. Uh -huh. Go down the path, takes you on to St. Anne's Road, which runs along there. And when you get down St. Anne's Road on your left, you'll see one of them things that stops like caravans. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Their metal bars yeah, with yeah. a padlock on. And then you cut through the path here, but you won't get over here. We'll have a go anyway, like we might as well. Yeah, you can get around that side, but be yeah. careful in there. Okay, we'll, we'll, get, get we'll get off this bit anyway. Oh. Cheers. What oh, a nice guy. After our brief encounter with security, we decided to trust him and follow the route he suggested. He couldn't have been any more help, as it led us directly to the unguarded building. This section of building that we're exploring today is locally known as the South House and it's been vacant for 15 years. Before then, the site was formerly known as the Manchester Royal Lunatic Asylum. At one point this building could hold over 200 patients and they were known as inmates. Ooh, look at that balcony. This place is massive. There's a shopping trolley chilling out front. It's even got the babies here. This place looks like it's been gotten into a number of times. There's so many different ways to get in and they're all stupidly obvious. Oh my God. All right, we are in our first ever abandoned mental asylum. We were instantly greeted with probably one of the longest corridors we've ever seen in an abandoned building. It stretched across the full length of the building and on either side of the walls it was covered in graffiti, which showed that lots of people had been here just with the intention of vandalizing the place. The roof's come crashing down. That's the second floor and that's the third floor, I think. That is a lifter. <laughs> All the ropes just got tangled. Looks like the actual lift compartment has been took out. The site was very close to an airport, so I apologise if you can hear any plane sounds in the background. It's super dark in there. The fact that we're walking around in a place where people who just weren't right in the head went, it's just weird. All kinds of spooky. How come this door frame is like this? Look how much paint is peeling from these walls. They must have been here for absolutely ages. <laughs> it's a pigeon. Oh, I fucking hate them. Look at him up there. Turn back. Alright, we're gonna go past you, okay? 
There's no need to jump out of those. Just stay there. Okay. <laughs> I seriously hate them so much. This place is like a shell. It was one of the most empty buildings we'd ever explored. Everything had been stripped from it apart from the foundations. These tiles look like something from a shower or a toilet room. Just the thing I walked in. It looks like there used to be a staircase here as well, by the way, the, um, the wall goes up, but they got rid of it for some reason. I think in any other place with as little artifacts as this one does, I'd be quite disappointed, but just because this is a mental asylum, it just adds so much to it, and I'm really enjoying exploring this place at the moment. Seems like the first line of defense is this metal cage in when this place became abandoned, but probably someone got past it, so they put up these boards. Since then, it seems like they've just given up because there's way too many ways into this place, and it's been destroyed by vandals. These had to be cells. Look how sturdy that door is. I think that's made out of metal. And you'd have a little window which is probably barred or something. There was only a few rooms that we could definitely identify as a cell, and this was one of them. The tiny living space the patients were allowed is insane, because some prisons offer more space than they did. The patients were treated worse than prisoners were. It was thought that they didn't deserve any freedom and had to be locked up for their entire lives. Yeah, these had to be cells. They're tiny. Alright, so we've explored all of the downstairs floor of this asylum. Now we're going to head upstairs. That banister is inverted into the staircase. Look at that. We progressed upstairs to see what else this place had in store for us. The floor keeps switching from concrete to wood and it's really off-putting. I wonder what would have been there. Oh my god! This pigeon just like, lasered across the corridor. I hope I got that on camera. It went for it. Yeah. I'm more worried about the pigeons in the floor though, to be honest. Looks like the, r the room floors are made out of wood, but the actual corridor is stone. Kind of like the foundations of the building. Yeah. There's another cell. Very small space for people to live. Look at the floor. It was clear to us that most of the damage done to this building was due to the top floor's unstabilisation. In many rooms, the top floor's roof had come crashing down, causing a ricochet effect affecting the rest of the building. Here's the balcony. The bath would have been there. More showering rooms. I wonder whoever would have walked out onto this balcony, like, I can't imagine them letting any of the patients doing it. Just started raining outside. So we're probably going to stay in here until it stops, which I guess is a good thing, but yeah, it'll give us more time anyway. Here's that lift shaft we saw from the floor above. It so goes up higher. There's another balcony there. Obviously, you can't really get to this one anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> They're just dickheads! Oh! It's like they're trying to pr they're trying to prank us or some shit, man. 
Every time. That one was so close as well. <laughs> this room's sick. We believe this larger room was the cafeteria in which the staff and possibly the patients would get their food. We found remnants of an old grill that was enclosed in the wall. Oh, there's like a little forest growing up there. Finally, we advanced onto the top and final floor, which looked the most dangerous. In some rooms, the floors just didn't exist, and all that were left were the support beams. My camera's just getting absolutely soaked. There's no cover. Oh wait, it looks like it. Is there a roof here? There's a little roof. There's not much up here though, this is um, the most destroyed part of this place. How's he got himself up there? <laughs> He's in a little box. More showering areas or perhaps kitchens, I'm not too sure. This is like a small outer building. Not worth going into, it looks like there was a big fire there. We just heard an ice cream van coming from the road and Reese said that it sounds like it's coming from the basement. Why would you say that? That's all the way to the bottom. Can you see it? No. Is that? It's just a stone walkway in between the non-existent wooden floor. Listen. It's gotta stop. No, just not now, any other time. You can actually see the old window frames which is the first time we've seen this in this entire building. This is the top of the lift now. You can see the wheels that would drive the rope to bring up the lift compartment. That's so far down. There's been a heavy use of graffiti on the top floor of this place. Seems like the preferred colour is blue for some reason. Loads of it's in blue. A lot of people have been here since it's been abandoned. Probably the most we've ever seen. I feel like most of the destruction was caused by decay because no human could do this without some like crazy construction materials. Finally we completed our first ever abandoned mental asylum. We hope you enjoyed coming on the explore along with us. We just finished our explore at the abandoned mental asylum. We're gonna get out of the site now and then head home. If you guys enjoyed this video be sure to keep checking out the channel. We're gonna be double uploading per week in October. This one will be up on Wednesday at 6pm and then the next one will be on Sunday at 7pm. So be sure to look out for that. We're going to keep trying to top the places that we go to and just provide you guys with the best content we can. So if you enjoyed this, subscribe and drop a like. It'll let us know that you really are enjoying it and it'll motivate us to keep doing it. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. What is with all the birds? There's two Canadian geese and a swan in the middle of the road. <laughs>